Hey, what's going on guys? It's me Aiden. Welcome back to Miraculous Monday. Back at it again with another week as always. We did not hit a bingo last week because there was no bingo last week. So here is the new bingo card. Should be a new cycle as well. Uh, so if we hit this, then I will be very sad. That, that's just how it is. <laughs> Now I actually have some news for today, I launched a new gaming channel which you all should definitely go check out and subscribe and watch all my videos because that would be greatly appreciated, help me out. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and hop right into this video because that's it with the announcements. Saw this on Instagram and I need to share. This is giving me flashbacks to a few weeks ago, but it's Wings Club. I haven't seen this one, I've heard good things about it though. Isn't it, I think it's like a fairy school, right? That's what it's about, right? Like a like a school of fairies or something? I think that's what it is. If I remember correctly, let me know if that's wrong down in the comments, but pretty sure that's what it's about. But I guess just a very poorly photoshopped version of Hawk Moth wearing things. Okay, good, good job, I guess. <laughs> it's so sad knowing that Adrian only smiles this big and true as Cat Noir. And you know what else is sad? It's sad that they throw Kent Noir under the bus all the time, bro. Uh, especially recently. Like, we need to see more Kent Noir, okay? I mean, I get that it's like maybe just, you know, you know, Rita Rouge isn't replacing Kent Noir, I get that, but it's like, I I'm getting withdrawal symptoms from not seeing enough Kent Noir. So hopefully the next few episodes will actually feature him a little bit. This has probably been done before, but my first thought when I saw the new Pixar film poster Luca. Okay, well, the, the K has been photoshopped. L what is... I haven't seen this, actually, so I don't know what this all, is all about. Streaming June 18th? That was yesterday for me. A few days ago for you. So maybe this is out by now? I don't know anything about this movie. Let me know down in the comments what it's about, because it it looks like fish people, but when they go into the water, they, they turn into, like, actual fish monsters or something? I don't know. That's what it looks like. But it's pretty cool. Thinking about it, I fall too much. You aren't called Miss Clumsy for nothing, are you? Yeah, I fall too hard, or I mean, too much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, Zoe's pretty nice, and I actually like how she hasn't left yet, which is good, because I thought that, you know, maybe she'd leave, but in Optigami we saw her again, so that's good. Hopefully she'll stay at least for the entire season. It also, they also made it seem like in Optigami that uh, maybe she wouldn't leave, and maybe that was just a translation error. Um, because I had watched it in the subs. Um, but at least in, uh, the, uh, not Soul Crusher, Queen Banana, they made it seem like, or wait, maybe it was Soul Crusher. I think it was Soul Crusher, actually. Um, they made it seem like, you know, she only had, like, three months or whatever. But I'm hoping that she gets to stay forever, so I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The logic here is absolutely flawless. Congratulations to some Miraculous fan. Cat Noir appears in 8 slash 9 episodes this season. Rena Rouge appears in 3 slash 9 episodes this season. Somehow, 3 is greater than 8. Yep, Rena Rouge is definitely more relevant than Cat Noir. Ah, uh, like I said before, I'm hoping that it's just the few that we got. You know, like, I, 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 I'm thinking that we just got unlucky, right? Optigami, pretty plot filled episode, so we saw more Rena Rouge. Right? And then the one before that, which I guess was it, um, Mr. Pigeon? I don't think that was the one right before it. But we, we've seen a lot of Rena Rouge, and that's only because, you know, we've gotten, like, heavy plot episodes, right? She's obviously included in that. But, uh, but, but I guess what I'm trying to say here is I think that Cat Noir will be appearing more, just, you know, in episodes that are not as plot filled. If you haven't seen my recent news video, definitely go check that out. Uh, I posted it a few days ago for you. And uh, that explains that maybe there will be a reveal very soon within episode uh, or season five. So, you know, maybe we'll actually get to see some Cat Noir helping out Ladybug, you know, just, just like how you do, you know? Ah, I can't wait. Soulmates. They are so flexible, oh my goodness. I talked about this, um, I think maybe it was last week or two weeks ago. This was like the in-between frame. I actually looked it up. It's not um, the tweening. That's not what I, I'm pretty sure that's what I said. It's not that, I don't remember what it was. Um, but it's like, you know, this is not some, 
this is not something that should be able to happen, right? But this is just a technique to make it look, you know, very nice and seamless and stretchy kind of. Um, so they make them do these like impossible folds, but when you when they're moving, it doesn't actually look this bad. And when you freeze it, it looks really weird. So this is like totally normal. But SAMG does this really well, so my guess is these are both SAMG episodes. Um, you don't really see too much of this from DQ, but it's funny. Man, I love the freeze frames from SAMG. These looks. Head empty, only Lady Noir's faces softening when they look at each other. Very nice. This is from the Shanghai special, and then this is from Ladybug. I actually know that because I love Ladybug so much. <laughs> So, yeah, episode Ladybug and episode Shanghai special. Not really, I don't know. I guess technically it'd be an episode, but it's a little weird. So yes, very, very nice. I like it. Man, can't wait for season five. These kids deserve better. His father is not only cold and harsh, but also secretly the villain of Paris. Her mother does not think she is good enough and doubts her abilities, such as drawing, even though she's blind. His father left him and his family for a crocodile. And I wouldn't say for a crocodile, but okay. And then her mother thinks that she is a disappointment and can't even remember her name. Yeah, that's true. Sad, sad day for these guys here. But it's good. It can maybe not only the, the show can not only well, I guess I guess it would teach the kids, hopefully to be better parents. But maybe if the parents are also watching in the background, maybe they can learn to be better. Although, you kind of have to be paying attention in order to figure this stuff out, but eh, I don't know. But it's good lessons to be had for everybody watching. So, uh, yes, helping the younger generation learn to be better parents is always a good thing. Hawkmoth needs to start thinking his plans through, or at least consult Natalie more. You can't defeat me, I know, but he can, Capalong. I mean, yeah. This is why I feel like the Butterfly Miraculous is the most powerful because you can literally make people who do everything. And I get that like, Cat Belonk was a, a cross between Cat Noir and an Akuma, but at the same time, he could have just made this power on his own, right? Like, like the, if you're kidding yourself if you think that there's a difference between a Miraculous being Akumatized and just normally like the only difference i think i mean i don't really know the specifics because they never explained it but i don't think there's too much of a difference right he probably could have just made i mean i guess maybe you could say that i don't know i feel like the limits of the miraculous are not very well defined so it's hard to say that using an akuma and a miraculous at the same time is more powerful than not but anyway point being he could just make this and then like destroy the whole world right like like hawk moth and i guess by extension um uh mayura the peacock miraculous can also do a very similar thing you just don't even need a person to akumatize right you can just do it on your own with like uh ladybug but like it's just so o op like what you could just do that like how have you not won yet you should have won from day one at least day two you can't deny it match made in heaven Match made in a bad place, yes. We got bad match. I don't know why people shit, like, I think people seriously ship these two. And I don't understand why. Like, no, no, don't. Please do not. Who do you think is gonna be the next Hawkmoth, Lila or Felix? Ooh, get your debate hats thinking on. That made a whole lot of sense, yeah. Uh, but I, actually, let's turn this into a discussion. Down in the comments, who do you think is gonna win? Or, not win, necessarily, but who do you think is going to be the next Hawk Moth? Is it going to be Lila or Felix? Or, do you think it's going to be Felix with Hawk Moth and, um, her, Lila, with the Peacock Miraculous? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Can we talk about how Sabrina is so happy for them? Let's see, this was also a A lot of Capalongs today. Was this, I mean, Sabrina's always been sort of like, um... Actually, I was thinking about this, because, uh, on the side here... She, we have, I think, a dog fan art of her. I was thinking about it, like, like, it's, it's funny that she gets the dog miraculous because, you know, dogs, like, typically follow commands, right? And that's all she does is follow commands from Chloe. So I thought, I, I was thinking of that, uh, as I was recording this video. Um, so I thought that was funny. But anyway, 
That's nice. You know, even she can go against Chloe a little bit. Just a tad in her head. Never verbally, but she can think like, oh, yay, I'm glad Adrian ended up with Marinette instead of Chloe. Yay. And then she'll just be like, all right, Chloe, what do you need next? Yeah, Sabrina, I don't know. Hopefully, I don't think she deserves the dog miraculous unless she's actually able to break away from Chloe a little bit. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Cat Noir really is the best partner Ladybug could ask for. Cat Noir is not only a great help to Ladybug against Akuma's and Senti monsters, but also the best emotional support for her in the most difficult and hopeless situations, and nobody else can provide that strong support. That's why he's irreplaceable. Yay! Ah, man, more reasons why Lady Noir is great. I love it. Yep, hopefully just... It'd be great if the reveal happened at the end of this season. But if it didn't, you know, we, that just means we gotta wait another season. But oh man, I cannot wait for the reveal, guys. I'm so excited. Got to, that news has got me hyped. Got into the show recently, still on season one, but already a pattern emerges. So here's my first meme. I want to marry you and have babies. As a friend, right? As a friend, right? Oh yeah, I've been seeing so much of this meme. First I didn't realize what it was, but now I now I see the background and uh, this pattern. <laughs> Except for, I don't think, the, the face expression doesn't really change, though, between this meme, right? But anyway, and why, wait, why does his eye change? Okay, I don't know, but <laughs> this is funny. Man, only, only season one and you, you already got it. Man, welcome, welcome to the club. Um, you, you will experience many hardships on your journey because of uh, so many just, just a friends. <sighs> oh man, and, and just, just you wait. Just you wait for the end of season three and the beginning of season four. That'll, uh, cause clearly you are an Adrian at Chipper and I can appreciate that. So, uh, I, I wish you luck on your journey. Soon, Emily Agrest, Emily, oh, Ag Agwake? Oh, no photo, okay. Uh, am I not getting something here? Is this supposed to be funny? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just not funny or I don't find it funny. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Oh, oh, duh, okay, aggressed, oh, okay, okay, guys, <laughs> okay, calm down, calm down, I saw, I saw my mistake, it took me a little bit to be aggressed, okay, yeah, 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 relax, guys, relax, I can already, oh, man, I can already tell I've made so many people mad, they started typing out, oh, my gosh, Aiden, you're so stupid, it says rest and aggressed, and I know, okay, guys, you don't have to, <laughs> you don't, you don't have to be so mean, guys. I saw my mistake before you could even finish the comment, okay? Ah, uh, it's fine. This is, this is what it means to be a YouTuber, I guess. I love it. Oh, this is so cool. I've seen like different versions of this, but I've never seen this one. This is probably one that I could actually get. I wanted that statue, guys. I'm still not like, I'm still mad about that, okay? I really wanted that statue. But I'm not paying 260 bucks for it, okay? It's too much. Ah, man, maybe if it goes down in price or if I could find like a used one on eBay or something. Actually, I'll, I'll have to check that, that'd be pretty cool. But, ah, man. I wanted that statue. But this, this is like, this is like the same version though, right? Because you, you have the same design, so. I don't know, this is probably a good cheap alternative. Funny! Marinette, after stopping literal world-ending events, calm. Also her, uh, when breathing the same air as Adrian, oh my goodness. Although I will say, she has gotten way better at that, okay? She's not, like, you know, we, and that's, 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 that, I really like that about the show, is that, you know, in season one, she literally, you know, like, like, was freaking out, and now in season four, she's pretty chill about it, right? It's a normal... Kind of thing it's only like certain things that aggravate her right like when alia says something and she's like oh my goodness you know um like an optigami when she was like when alia was like hey elevators are a perfect place for romance or whatever and then she and then marinette started freaking out but before when she was walking as a group with adrian she had no problem right so it was all good so i i like to see that character development very nice his comfort person Notice how when Adrian's all alone without Marinette, the colors are just cold and sad, whereas when he's with her, the colors are all suddenly pretty and warm. Aw, she really is his comfort person. Goodbye. Aw, very nice. That's a very good... 
um, connection to make there. Very, I like it. And then this is the New York. These are both the New York special. And then this, these are both Camelot. Very nice. That's a that's a that's a very good observation. Good job. You get a gold star. <laughs> oh man, I like that. I've never really noticed that, but yeah, it makes sense. There's a lot of like little things like this that that are really nice when you can find them. I like Marinette as much as the next person, but the idea that Adrian trusts her more than Nino is BS. Hard pills to swallow. Nino is Adrian's best friend, not Marinette. Uh, for now. And you can also, okay, I think you can have a best friend, right? Well, I mean, I guess technically they wouldn't be like, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend yet. But eventually, right? So like, okay, let's, let's say it like this. You can have a best guy friend and a best girlfriend, right? So right now, well, uh... Mm, I was talking more about like romantically, but anyway, anyway, you get my point, right? Like you can like Adrian when he gets into a relationship with Marinette, right? He can also have a best friend that's not related with Marinette, right? Because obviously the bond between Marinette and Adrian is gonna be closer, because that's a romantic relationship. Whereas Nino is just a friend, right? <laughs> just a friend. Nino's, Nino's been friend zoned, but um. Yeah, so I think I think they're they're little. You, you can't classify them in the same class, you know, because they're, they're they're different. They're different classes, right? Marinette's just a class above Nino, so yeah. At least maybe not right now, but at least in the future, right? So yeah, we don't have to worry about it. When Hawkmoth stopped making memes and made a real supervillain, Mister Pigeon, ah, uh -huh. and then Capelonk. Now this is an Avengers level threat. Yeah, it is. My goodness. A lot of Cat Belong today too. What the heck? Cat Noir, Cat Belong is getting all the love today. This is just the uh, the Cat Belong uh, Miraculous Monday, like the second or third one, because I feel like we get Cat Belong fairly frequently on here, especially the week after it aired. That was probably pretty big, but yeah, good job, Hawk Moth. And for the top post of the week, Ladybug once said, "Ladybug, I'll never fall for your poetry." Also, Ladybug, yay poetry. Adrian's poetry. <laughs> oh man, Tiki egged her on here. That was not very nice, Tiki. Uh, just imagine when they have this big realization after the reveal. Like, oh man, they're gonna be like, oh my goodness. Ah, so many things could have been different. But yes, just can't wait. But anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. This is giving me... Hawkmoth needs to start. Hawkmoth needs to start thinking his plans through. At least, can think of that that. Hawkmoth needs to start thinking. Ah. Notice how when Adrian's all alone without Marinette, his true colors are. Uh, could you jive that that yeah. Notice how when Adrian's all alone without Marinette, his true colors. The nope, not true. <laughs>